Hello! My name is Indy and today I'm here with a very simple tag that I just love the idea of, the Book Burger Tag. And this tag was created by Ryan Reed's book, so I will link that down below. But basically this is a little making a book burger with six simple questions, so let's get on with it. Number one is The Bottom Bun, the first book in a series that you love. Don't know what else to choose here, but like the classic Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. A good old favourite of mine. I love the world. I love the setup. It was just fabulous. Pick this series up, seriously. Seriously. Number two is the Burger Meat or Patty. This ain't no vegetarian burger. A hearty thick book that you read and enjoyed. And a great book for this one is City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare, the sixth book in the Model Instruments. It is a hefty book. Like, I'm talking 733 pages of goodness. <laughs> it's, look it's looking pretty tacky and I've only read this once, so... This was a hefty and great one. Number three is Lettuce and Cheese. So two books under 200 pages, one that you've read and enjoyed and another you really want to read. I have a very limited range of books I've read under 200 pages because I literally don't own any basically that I've read. But for this one, I am going to choose Troll Mountain by Matthew Riley. This was a pretty interesting book. Uh, it's, I wouldn't say I really loved it, but it was definitely an interesting book and I enjoyed it. For the other half of the question, a book I want to read that's under 200 pages is Fantastic Beasts and Way to Find Them. I have the beautiful Hogwarts hardcover edition of this and I want to read this before the movie comes out. It's so short. It's so short. It's literally like 90 pages. So I, I, I don't know why I didn't read this last month when I had two days to find a new book. Like where was I thinking with that? But number four is Tomato. An average size book, two to 400 pages that you loved or hated. For this one, I don't really like tomato. I'm an, a tomato okay -er. It's like sometimes tomato's okay, but I don't like chunky tomato, like thinly sliced tomato. Girl of Nightmare by Kende Blake. Uh, this one was just okay. Like the blood red writing was something to be interested in. I like that. And there were some spooky scenes in it, but it was just, it was just okay. I didn't, I didn't really like it that much. Yep. Number five is trying a new source that you're not sure you will like. So a book you either thought you would love but you hated or a book you thought you would hate but actually love. For this one I'm going for I thought I would love but actually didn't like it. Hate is a strong word for this but I'm gonna go with Dragonfly and Amber by Diana Gabaldon. Okay, you know I love this series but I didn't love this book that much. I, I'm not saying hate at all. That one is, that's a too fierce a word here. I just, I disliked this one a bit because it was a bit boring and a bit political for me compared to the first and the third book that I'm currently reading. So this one, sorry. <laughs> I feel like a bad person because this is one of my favorite series and I'm hating on it right now. And number six is The Top Bun. A last book in a series that you were dreading the release of or dreading the release of because it's going to end. For that one, just another great classic. Cassandra Clare's Clockwork Princess, the last book in the Infernal Devices. Bittersweet, one of those books, you know, that you're like, yay, the last book. I can't wait to see how it wraps up, but you're just sad that it's all gonna end. And that was definitely this one for me. Alrighty, let's put my weird burger together. This is quite the um, hefty sauce. I don't really know if I know what an orange sauce would be this. What's an orange sauce? Is that island one? Is it that, that five island something dressing? I don't even know. I don't know what that dressing is. Or like American cheese colored. That would be another choice. Bit of a uh, uh, lopsided burger. I got the color of the, um, the lettuce. Okay, it's a green book, but everything else is kind of... I chose really big books for this one, <laughs> when there was only one big book question, but here is my book burger! Yay! It's very heavy and full of fun covers, basically. Well done me, well done me. Alright, that was the book burger tag. A nice, quick, easy and simple tag. Tagging wise today, I just want to tag one person, and that is my, my friend punk rock girl PA. We've been chatting, and she's lovely, so I'm gonna tag her today. Thank you so much for watching my book burger tag and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Reads books? Oh dear. So I am not hungry which is probably a good thing so let's get on with the questions. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah.